In this tutorial, we're going to model uh, this building. Uh, this is uh, uh, designed by uh, Ala Architects from Finland. Uh, and this is a project that was presented at Venice Architecture Biennale uh, this year as part of Mind Building, the exhibition of Finnish Pavilion. So uh, this is actually Helsinki Central Library. Uh, it's really like um, one of my favorite buildings. So we're just, I'm going to show you like the the way to model this kind of like surfaces and what the approach would be to to have everything set up nicely. So let's start. So first, I'm going to I'm the, I'm going to create a rectangle from the top, which will be. Uh, the the actual surface area. Uh, I don't have exact measurements, so I'm just going to eyeball it from the image, and uh, we'll work from there. So um, as you can see on the side, it has these inclinations here, so it's not straight. So I'm going to to draw this from the top view just to have it as a reference let's say this is enough and I'm going to join this and copy it multiple times join it now let's do scale 2d Something like this. Well, let's say that this is this is fine. Scale one D and fit it here. Okay, I'm just going to quickly count how many of these clinicians there are. So uh, now uh, let's start with uh, actually building the, the roof. So let's say that this will be the height, something like this. And I'm going to uh, now just I'm gonna try to get the proportions right so that we have more or less correct geometry. So I'm just I'm just gonna check now with with the reference images to see. If this angle is correct, it seems right, something like this, maybe move it just a little bit inside more. Okay, so something like this. And now I'm going to actually extend this, these parts on the bottom. I'm going to put them back on the z-axis like so and I'm just gonna split them now just for to have better uh, better view okay so we need to make this bigger like so and then go split So now 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 I know what the position would be. Let's make this surface as well. And let's join everything. Okay. 
so now the main thing here is to create this surface that has different um, different like angles like this and uh, we want we would want to use these plans for this so I'm just going to enter this plane and I'm going to for now just use the default and let's create surface here and I'm going to rotate it so that is just like I want it to be like so and now let's play with it now I'm just going to start uh, start dividing this surface even more but before that I'm gonna lock the geometry here so I don't accidentally push it or lose it so let's go to these splines and let's um, let's divide the surface even more I'm just gonna delete this go to these planes go to the edge command and let's start dividing it Okay, so once I'm happy with uh, with the surface and once I'm happy how it looks like, I'm going to now um, try to um, transform it to Rhino, like so. So now it's a Rhino surface and let's trim it. I'm going to trim the, the parts that are extra. I'm gonna use split command there you go and now let's just um, let's create uh, these uh, reference parts but before I'm going to unlock everything else I'm going to use this and this as a, as a guide and let's use command boolean split but first let's fix these areas here because it needs to be a surface that it's completely um, full so I'm going to extend it like so and I'm going to cut it here in the middle like so boolean split cut it hide it delete this and then use these guys for boolean split and there you go Zero point eight, and I'm going to offset it. I'm going to mirror it on the other side as well. Uh, I just want to have the idea of where my base will start from. This is the bottom one, 
and okay so so as you can see on the image here it it has like a fillet here so first let's create a rectangle And this is the rectangle okay now I'm just gonna check to see if everything fits correctly uh, yeah more or less okay and now I will use this as a guide and I'm gonna explode this have this returned and let's make fillet of say two okay a little bit more three this is a sounds about right okay join everything and extend it a little bit like so okay so I'm going to move it up. Mm, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to intersect with these guys. So I get this line. And now I'm going to use this line and this line to create my my geometry. I'm going to trim this, trim this, and let's select, for example, somewhere here. So I'm going to create a couple of these uh, reference lines here. I'm creating this so that <coughs> we can have better result with the and there you go Let's delete the rest and now we have our we have our glass uh, Another thing we can do is, is we can actually create emollients on the glass. Okay, so now once I have this uh, geometry ready, uh, let's create some uh, emollients as here uh, on the picture. So we want to create this. Uh, the easiest way to do this is by, first let's, let's create a solid out of this shape. I'm gonna type offset surface and I'm going to leave 0 0.2 that's fine uh, okay so I have my surface here uh, now I'm going to go to the side view and I'm going to um, let's say 1.4 would be my distance and I'm going to copy this multiple times Okay, so this will be my this will be my uh, horizontal divisions. I'm going to extrude them here, and uh, all right. So what I can do now is. Uh, I can offset these surfaces as well so I'm gonna use offset surface and I'm gonna start from the top I'm gonna go 0 0.1 in both directions and I'm gonna say solid like so Maybe need to be less than that, so let's go with even smaller amount. 0.05, both sides. 
Okay. Same thing for this. Like so. Uh, then I'm going to use a boolean, a boolean split. And, and once that is done, I'll have my divisions. There you go. And now let's uh, let's do the same thing for uh, for the uh, vertical divisions. So this is our final result. Hope that you like it and uh, I'll just quickly render this and show you the final result. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.